Hello, today I'm going to be making some iron sulfide by reacting metallic iron as in the form of iron filing with some sulfur. This will also be in the form of um, cyclooctosulfur, so this ring of eight sulfurs. It will be carried out in this small container, which is the closest thing I had to a watch glass. Um, and I'll be using some splints to try and light it, which will initiate the reaction as it needs quite a lot of energy to form the bonds between the iron and the sulphur. I've now mixed the sulphur and iron in a ratio of uh, 7 to 4, mixing it to get a nice mixture between the sulphur and iron. I'm just about to light it. This is an isopropanol burner. why I'm actually doing this experiment. It's actually quite fun. So, iron sulfide is also known as pyrite, which, because of its cool structure, forms these really cool um, cuboid cube structures. And I'm not actually planning on making salt, um, pyrite, but the reason I'm doing this is because you can adapt it, this experiment to work with the zinc, which I have some zinc pellets here. And if you use if you do this experiment with a bit of copper involved, I've got both copper foil and copper wire, I'm going to try and find out what's best. You can actually make a glow in the dark compound, which is actually quite cool. And I'm going to try and do that better than this video. With what I've currently produced, it forms about three main layers. The water layer, containing the iron uh, oxides and things, and waste products that are soluble in water. We've also got a sulfur layer at the top and a layer containing our product that is denser than the water at the bottom. I've done this because both things are insoluble in water other than the impurities that were produced and their different densities will allow um, the two layers to separate. I have noticed that the iron in the bottom um, that should be reacting with the citric acid that I've added to try and get rid of it because the citric acid will react with the iron but not with the um, iron sulfide. It will, any iron should be collecting on the stir bar because it's magnetic which may be a problem but it should uh, all react with the citric acid. We get to this point in the experiment where is separated. There is this murky layer and there is the sulfur on the top. But what I really didn't want to have to do, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to stop the experiment because it just smells so horrible. It's just horrible. The ventilation isn't very good and there's just this smell of sulfur everywhere and it's horrible. I don't want to have to do this ever because I've put quite a bit of work into researching all of this and it seems to be going quite well into the smell. Yeah, okay. 